leaders from across Malaysia's political spectrum have called for the removal of Prime Minister Najib Razak following a corruption crisis. Mr Razak has been under scrutiny after nearly $700 million appeared in his bank account. The country's top prosecutor said it was a personal donation from the Saudi royal family. Well, critics allege the money came from the state-owned investment fund. Let's get more on this with Zaid Ibrahim. He uh, joins us now from Kuala Lumpur. He's the former law minister for the ruling party, UMNO. Uh, many thanks for joining us. The prime minister has vigor vigorously denied all these accusations of corruption and says this is all a conspir conspiracy to topple him. What's your response to this? <laughs> uh, it's laughable to say that... Uh that there is a conspiracy against him. What is happening is just the opposite. He is doing a massive cover-up. You know, the allegations of corruption and the billions of dollars in his personal account are not made by people in Malaysia, but by reputable financial dailies, Wall Street Journal, Financial Times, and all the newspapers in the world. And all he had to say was, uh, it's a lie, it's a donation. So, you know... Uh, we are confronted with a massive scandal, the biggest in the history of the nation. And that's why the people are getting together to demand for his removal. And do you think that this will make a difference? Because this scandal has been going on for over a year and still the PM is in power. Do you think, uh, do you have confidence now that your call for him to step down will work? Well, <laughs> we have to try, don't we? Of course, you know, dictators are not easy to be removed, but uh, we have to get the people uh, ready. We have to get them to understand the issues. We have to get them to overcome their fears. And maybe it will take some time, but we must try for the sake of the nation. Well, talking of the nation, what kind of impact has this scandal had on, uh, on the country, on institutions and so on? This is... This is this is, as I've said, unprecedented. You know, we are laughing stock of the world at the moment. And uh, the institutions, the, the Attorney General's office, the police, and, and, and the Public Accounts Committee in Parliament were all controlled by the Prime Minister. And so much so that using laws like official secrets and things like that, he prevented us from knowing what happened. And the reply has always been, Oh, it's conspiracy, <laughs> you know. But uh, we have to, we have to continue. We have to continue to pressure. We have to continue to get the world to understand what is really happening. Okay, Zaid Ibrahim, many thanks for your time. Uh, Zaid Ibrahim joining us there from Kuala Lumpur. He's the former law minister for the ruling party UMNO.